Yannick Sinner vs Holger Rune is the second semi-final for the Monte Carlo Masters for 2023. And both guys have had different roads to get to the semi-final stage. Rune entered the tournament as a number six seed, and we get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he take on Dominic Team, who was starting to look like he was in a little bit of form after a good win against Gasquet. But Rune was too strong, getting through in straight sets, 6-2, 6-4. In the third round, Rune was supposed to take on Berrettini, who had just played an epic match against Serendolo. But unfortunately, Berrettini had to withdraw with an abdominal strain, handing Rune the walkover to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Runa will take on the number three seed Medvedev, who is showing everybody that he could actually play on clay by beating Zverev after saving match points in the previous round. But unfortunately for Medvedev, Runa was too crafty and too skilled and took Medvedev out in straight sets, 6-3, 6-4, to advance to the semi-finals. Sinner entered the tournament as the number seven seed and will get a bye in the first round. In the second round, he take on Schwartzman, but unfortunately, Schwartzman was carrying an injury and would have to retire mid-match with Sinner up six love, three one retirement. In the third round, he take on very good friend, number 10 seed, Hubi Hercatch, who he had played in some big matches before. And this was no exception. After Sinner dropping the first set and facing match points in the second, he would come back to win in an epic fashion, 3-6, 7-6, 6-1, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Sinner would take on his countryman Musetti, number 16 seed, who just took out Novak Djokovic in the third round. But unfortunately, Musetti couldn't back up his career best win, with Sinner demolishing him in straight sets, 6-2, 6-2, to advance to the semis. These two guys have only played the one time before. That was last year on the indoor hard courts of Bulgaria, with Sinner unfortunately having to retire in the third set. But up until that third set, the match was epic. Having a look at the shot quality for the last 52 weeks for both these guys, on the serve, they are dead even at 7.7, .7, just ahead of the tour average. On the return, Sinner leads with a 7.6, ahead of a 6.4 for Runa. So the returns for Sinner are gonna be a big deal. On the forehand side, again, it's Sinner with an 8.2, ahead of Runa 7.5, and on the backhand side, again, it's Sinner who leads with a 7.8 compared to a 7.2 over the last 52 weeks. So Runa's going to have to serve well, avoid the forehand, and maybe hope that Sinner's returns are not as successful as they have been over the last year. Shot quality is a part of a range of new insights from the team at Tennis Insights. It is calculated in real time and analyzes each shot's speed, spin, depth, width, and impact on the opponent. The number of the player cards are actually the 52-week rolling averages. Go check them out on Twitter, link down below. I'm so excited for this match. Two young guys playing. We've seen Alcrez versus Sinner a couple of times this year. Now Runa gets his chance to take on one of his new generation players. But I'm going to go with Sinner in this one in three sets. I just think that he's been so good this year. Let me know down in the comments below who's going to make the final.